Hey, 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 welcome back to another beautiful home tour. Today we're in Little Elm, Texas, touring this beautiful home for lease in Sunset Point, right on the border of Frisco and Little Elm. First of all, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and to get videos of all the home tours around DFW. We do real estate tips, tricks for if you're looking to buy, sell, invest, lease in homes, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're looking right now to purchase, sell, or lease, or invest in a home around Dallas and Fort Worth, please send me a text, call, email, or schedule right in my calendar on the description on my YouTube website. All right. Well, here we go. Welcome inside a 2034 Sundown Drive. This is a 2015 build home, 3,200 square foot, four beds, three full beds, two living areas, a three car garage, and we got a big media room upstairs that we're gonna take a look at soon. As you can see, when we walk in right to the left, you have the dining room that leads to the kitchen. Also have the utility and pantry right there. You can see a lot of cabinet space in the kitchens and we're gonna get to that shortly. But this entry foyer is pretty grand with that beautiful staircase going up and the wood floors going all the way back to the living area. And right to the right, of the entry, we have a little mudroom space with a separate bedroom and its own bathroom. This is the only bathroom downstairs as well, aside from the master. And the the three car garage is located right there as well. This room could be a great bedroom or it could also be an office as well since it's located in front of the house. Again, if you guys are looking to uh, to purchase a home or sell uh, now, even in within a year, it is good to get a head start on the market and get your foot in the door, know what the market is doing, get a little heads up on planning to purchase or sell a home because it does take time. Uh, say you're looking to purchase a home right now all right, first you gotta decide where you want to live. Even if you get under contract or now and you have a mortgage, that's gonna take 20 to 30 days to close on a home, all right? And before that, you're gonna have to get uh, all your needs met as well. So it's very important to plan ahead. All right, here's the third, the three car garage. It is way bigger than a person. Uh, the owner, previous owner, did have their own personal gym in here. That's why they have the rubber floor mats on the ground. We could, you could leave that if you want, or we could take them out. It's totally up to you. We have the two big hot water heaters right there with some storage. Also comes with full irrigation system. Again, like I was saying, if you guys are looking to purchase, uh, please schedule a call with me in my calendar to get a quick call, get you all set up, kind of what you're looking for, get you on a home search and the details and check out the other videos I do of my market update videos because the market right now is totally changing. We're coming up to the 2024 presidential election and that always throws up, throws off the real estate market. Uh, after that, home prices are going to go up because right now they're down and it take it's taking longer to sell homes and interest rates are i think at 6.6 .6 right now all right as we come into the main living area and kitchen you're going to see how nice bright and open it is with these dark wood cabinets for the kitchen and the nice granite countertops Again, I love how much counter space they have and how much cabinet and storage space.
Let's talk a little bit about Little Elm, the area right here. It is in a perfect location. Everybody knows Frisco. Frisco is the great area. It has so much going for it. It was ranked number one in the country for number one cities to move to back in 2022. All new commercial PGA of America is right here. Uh, it's, it's 10 minutes away from this house, actually. Universal. Orlando Universal Studios Kids is building a park another 10 minutes down the road, right by the Dallas North Tollway. So this house is on the corner, right on the edge of Frisco Little M. It is Little M ISD. If this house were for sale in Frisco, in Frisco ISD, it'll be 800,000 and above. If it, since it's in Little M, Right on the corner, right on the edge of it, Little MIC, this home uh, would go for sale in the 600. So it's about a $200,000 difference. And you, you save a lot of money and you get all the benefits of being in Frisco. All right, right down the road, five minutes away, you have a Walmart, you have a Lowe's, a Hobby Lobby, restaurants all on that. El Dorado and 423 intersection. And you go a little bit down El Dorado, 10 minutes away, you have the Dallas North Toway, which on that intersection, you have Target, Costco, and other restaurants all right there, and a Home Depot, and everything's down there. And from the to Dallas North Toway, you could go all the way straight shot to downtown Dallas. And in Little Elm is located on side of Lake Louisville. It is known as a lake city. Uh, there's a beautiful beach park area that you could go hang out with your family. Little um, Lake Louisville is great boating for people, great fishing. Uh, they have all kinds of restaurants. They have a wakeboarding park as well going on right there. Uh, it's a beautiful location. All right, as we pan right here to the kitchen area, we're gonna see the grand living area. We have a beautiful gas fireplace right there and the ceilings right here are about 26 foot tall. So huge uh, living space, very grand to be in. You can see all the natural lights coming in with the extra long curtains. It's a very unique spot. And looking that way, you can see there's a overlook of the second floor right there from the living area on the second floor that we'll get to shortly. Right off the living area, we are going to walk in and see the master bedroom. As we walk in, you can see there's a large sitting area next to this big window. A little accent on the ceiling as well. And it's such a good spot for a master bath. Right off the living area, away from the other bedrooms, if you're into that, away from the kids. And right off there, we have the master bath that we're about to walk into. All right, coming into the master bath, we have that vanity right off to the right, right there. And on the other side, we have the other vanity with a large counter space. We have a makeup area, a sink, 
a garden tub and a separate shower back there, which is really cool. You can see, have a little window. I know a lot of people have questions about the new LAR, NAR rules. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, uh, National Associations of Realtors set new rules that sellers can't pay buyer agent commissions in home sales. So I would like to explain that a little bit. It sounds crazy. It sounds like, oh, buyers got to pay their buyer agents commissions now. That is not necessarily true. Everything is pretty much still the same. They just have it as seller paying concessions now and the buyer can use those seller concessions to pay the buyer agent commission, which most people and sellers are still offering buyer seller concessions, AKA a buyer agent commission of 3% to their buyer, uh, to their buyer agents as they bring buyers to their homes. So, but what if they don't offer a full 3% or nothing? Well, that is always negotiable in the contract. What I've been doing and what uh, you should be doing, you know, buying a home for a buyer is a large expense, a lot of money down. And a lot of times buyers uh, don't have that much cash to deposit or are very short on the cash and you want to be cash dependent. So I would never let the buyer lose out a home just before because of buyer commission. So what I do is whatever the buyer seller concessions is and whatever we can negotiate in the home sale process for the buyer agent commission is what I take. I would never let uh, the buyer pay for my buyer agent commission side. That way they can secure the house. All right, let's take a look upstairs. Just giving you a nice little pan of this beautiful entry walkway with the wood staircase going up. And upstairs, we again, we have two bedrooms right there, right in front with the bathroom. Nice little overlook to the front door. And we also have a big living area and a media room. Here's the view from the living area. Little pan around. And right behind us, right there, is the little overlook to the first floor living area that I'm about to show you. So, even though this is a big house, it is very open and you kind of, kind of can see all over. And it's a very warm house being in it as well. This is a great second living upstairs where you can have the kids play. You can set up sitting areas right here. And you can see those double doors off to the left right there. That is the grand area of the home. I love these pillars as you come into the media room. Very big, spacious media room. Just picture a huge projector screen on that wall with sur surround sound speakers. Everything's wired, ready to go. Nice little closet off to the right, right there. Very big space. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and be on the lookout for new home tours around DFW. I do new construction home tours and model home tours mostly as well. And every once in a while, these uh, resale properties pop up that I just got to show you guys. Uh, if you are in the market to purchase a home right now, can't stress enough 
how good of a deal it is to go with a new construction. It's just depending on where you want to be located. But right now, new construction, you can get the best deal. I closed four new constructions in the past two months, and the deal is crazy uh, with the interest rate and the incentives. If you use the buyer, the builder's preferred lender, they offer you everything. Uh, my current cl client that's closing in the end of the month. They have a fixed rate of 4.99% mortgage interest rate. Uh, give you a little hint, it, interest rates right now is 6.6. .6, so a fixed rate for 30 years, 4.99. Plus they're doing a 2-1 buy down, all paid for by the builder and builder's preferred mortgage lender. So their first year in the home, their interest rate would be 2.99. Their second year would be 3.99% and their third and rest of their loan life will be at 4.99%. That is a huge savings coming from what we're at right now. I mean, that'll be that's at least $300 off your monthly bill for that 4.99% and that 2.99% you're looking at six seven hundred dollars off monthly all right and with going with new construction you also have all kind of warranties you have a 10-year structural warranty uh you know in texas the ground ground is made of clay a lot of movement in clay so a lot of homes around dfw do have some kind of settlement foundation issues and with that 10 year structure warranty, if anything were to happen, that repair would be free within 10 years, which is great to know. Uh, also on appliances, you usually have one year appliances, a one year builder warranty if the house settles before that one year's up, the builder comes in and makes all the repairs at no cost to you. It's just a great time to get a new construction. All right, let's look at outside in the back patio. Nice big high fence with a stone wall back there. This is a cool little unique yard. We've got a nice little tree, this stone plot right now. You could plant some trees and stuff right there. Nice sitting wall and over the corner right here that yard continues so it's an extra big yard even though it doesn't look like it coming from the back patio but it, there's really a lot of space going on again i haven't told you this price yet this home is currently for lease for 3400 dollars a month uh 3400 secure deposit if you are looking to purchase in uh, little Elm, please contact me, text me, call me, email me, comment on this post, or you can schedule a call with me directly, 15 minute, just to get you know you call, uh, right in a YouTube video. All right, I'm Chase Bourgeois. Have a good one. Thank you.